What's up, family? Welcome to another episode of Sneaker Notes. I'm your boy, C-Notes. Thanks for checking me out. And today, we have the Halloween 2022 Nike Dunk. And, um, I like them. You know, does look like a little lot of Halloween in it. Um, I actually won these off the Foot Locker app. You know, you can... Uh, you can reserve it and like try to win it and then they let you know the night before whether you ship it to you or you go pick it up and I won it and for some reason on my phone the Foot Locker app does not have like a notification sound and the next morning I woke up and it was like you didn't confirm it in time I was like Aww. but Sneakers app has it um, Snipes had it uh, Jimmy Jazz JD Sports, every almost foot site had this sneaker and I was able to cop it off Snipes. So, that's good. But when it comes to like Halloween dunks, y'all remember I showed y'all the orange joints last year, Halloween dunks. Those were alright, but SB knocks it out the park when it comes to themes. All kind of themes. Even Polaroid. But, the Halloween joints for sure, from the Freddy Kruegers to the Mummies, was still Dunk of the Year, in my opinion. Um, Yeah, definitely Dunk of the Year last year. Or was it this year? I can't remember, but these joints right here can compete for Sneaker of the Year, not just Dunk. From the little beetle that lights up here to the Mummy eyes, the whole sneaker is wrapped in Mummy. Lime green, the Horus on the back, these were them, but these dunk joints are not like, like literally, these joints are fire too, man, so we're going to get into an in-depth review of these, man, I can't wait, hit the B-roll. <laughs> Like I said, I got them from Snipes. Um, it reads Nike Dunk Low Retro. Uh, doesn't have a color. Doesn't even have a price. But I think I paid $130 after tax. That's kind of simple for a dunk. I think they went up $10 because I remember dunks being $100. But I like this like wolf gray crack leather look. The lime green at the bottom. Doesn't glow, but it looks dope. Maybe it do glow. We're going to hit that with the black light, try to see if it glows. But um, let's unbox these. Hit the music. Unboxing time. Yes, sir. So you get your Nike OG dark red or dark orange um, Nike box. I, usually you get this for regular Nike dunks without a theme, but these have a theme, so I don't know why they didn't at least give us like, I don't know, a pumpkin or something, but it comes in your regular box here, and it reads Nike Dunk Low Retro PRM, Iron Gray, so not Wolf Gray, Iron Gray, Phantom, and Scream Green, I like that, Scream Green, open the lid here, and you got your OG tissue paper, no extra laces, no Halloween stickers, none of that. And this here is the right shoe Halloween Dunk 2022. Yeah, this is definitely not wolf gray. It looks more like iron to me. <laughs> so um, let's start here with the swoosh. As you can see on your crack leather swoosh, this is this is nice leather, guys. You got another like outline on the top, giving you a look of like a ghost. So like the, like a swoosh is ghosting on the top. 
right there. Get y'all to see that. And it's dope because that takes away the crack leather. So you kind of see the outline of the swoosh. But let's start with the toe box. Toe box does, yeah, that is like a darker gray. It has some bounce back here. The leather is okay. I won't say premium, PRM, but the leather is okay. But the leather around the toes, the crack leather, that is premium, guys. And I like that look because it looks like, I don't know, like, 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 it looks like Halloween. I can't really explain it, but it looks like it. And that even comes up here, as you can see, the, it looks like it's wrinkling up there. So that's dope. Come around. Look at that swoosh again I talked about. Parts here that looks faded out. It's just the crack leather. Giving it that vintage old Halloween look. The crack leather gets crazier as the sneaker gets to the back. Got it right here by the shoelace holes. But more right there on the back. All the way around. Now I like this. Usually on a dunk you get this Nike logo right here up top. That I tell you that I really like. But you get it down here. In a crack leather look. But also around the whole back is another ghosting of a Nike logo. So you see the Nike logo there. That's here. Similar to like I just told y'all with the swoosh. So that's dope. I wish they could have made this like that scream green here. Give it more of a look. But I see what they were doing there. I like it. Come around. More of that crack leather. Look at that leather guys. 4K, man. Crack leather is crazy. It kind of looks like, like brush suede a little bit. It's so crack. And they go to Nike swoosh again. In my opinion, the inside Nike swoosh is more detailed than the outside. And that happens a lot. I don't know why, because no one really sees the inside. But Nike does that a lot with the inside swooshes. The back, this is nice leather in the back, guys. It's not tumbled at all. But you can tell by the thickness of the leather that that's premium leather there. Come around, more of the same. Your tongue has that Nike Halloween theme font with a swoosh there in black. Again, I wish they'd have added more screen green to the sneaker. That would have definitely did it. But that's there on the tongue, mesh Nike tongue, like we always see on the dunks. That's all the way down. It comes in that same iron gray shoelaces. Again, they could have added some screen green there also. But I like the cello look, settle look there. And that's the tongue. Getting to the inside now. Again, you have that Halloween Nike font in the inside with that nice tennis ball. Well, darker than the tennis ball green, the screen green. And that is inside, guys. The outside now, there you go. That's that scream green. To me, it's just green with a lot of spectacles and glitter on it. But it's a dope look. I just wish they added more to the top of the sneaker than just the bottom. And it's your regular Nike Dunk bottom, of course, that you see on every Dunk, Air Force One, etc., etc. Now, here's the black light, guys. So, there you go. It's glowing with the black light, but it doesn't seem to glow if you don't have the black light on it. So, in my opinion, they do not glow like these bad boys here. So, the Nike Dunk SBs in hand right now, you see the glow. You see the beetle glowing up when you hit it with the black light. These are different, man. These are different, guys. In my hand here is the left pair. Everything seems to add up. The crack leather. The back. Nike font with the ghost Nike there. So nothing's changed from the left or the right. On the Nike Dunk 2022s. Yes sir. So I think I paid $130 or $120 in change. I can't. I can't really remember, but I know it wasn't up more than $130. And right now, StockX GOAT has this sneaker for about $140, $145. So 
It's right there with retail. The thing with Halloween sneakers is they only popular in October. Once November, December hit, no one's searching for a Halloween sneaker unless we're talking about the Freddy Kruegers. Like Nike. Give us the Freddy Kruegers, man. Please. <laughs> but that even goes with like Shattered Backboard or Orange Jordan 1s in general. Halloween is when them sneakers is at their peak, man. Um, as far as this sneaker, I don't think it's still around retail because something Nike did. I just think it's... You can get it in a lot of different foot sites, and it doesn't really scream Halloween. Like, they should have did more for Halloween. Like, the mummies, the, even the ones I showed y'all last year, the 2021 Halloweens, they were orange. It screamed Halloween at you. These just look like a nice Nike Dunk with some green in it. And that's my opinion, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section below. But putting a witch or... Like, like, even the Jordan 4 uh, Canyon Purple joints, those look like a Halloween sneaker. They could have they mustered this up a little more, but this is a clean Nike Dunk. Iron Gray is a nice touch, guys. Let me know how y'all feel about these. Let me know if y'all cop these. I believe around Christmas, the sneakers still going to be at retail because I feel like a restock is coming. Too many sites had this sneaker. I'm your boy Sneaker Notes. Thanks for watching. Everybody, get rich.